Hello, I'm Abyx, Take and welcome back to the video. Today I have some pretty good news to share with you all because another snapshot has just come out for Minecraft on the Java Edition. This is 18W10D, which means it's the fourth snapshot of the 10th week of 2018, and four snapshots in one week is not a normal thing, but Dinnerbone has just been powering through the snapshots this week because there's so much that's being worked on, and I think this week's snapshot, because I don't cover every snapshot, this week's snapshot is one you just have to see because it does involve one of the most exciting new additions, the Coral Reef. That's right, the Coral Reef is officially being added to the game in this snapshot, and I wanted to show it to you all because this is, you know, again, like the work in progress of the update Aquatic for all platforms. And I feel like the first look at the Coral Reef is just something you all had to be here to see. So hopefully you all do enjoy that. Like this video if you do like it because it helps out the channel a lot. And let's know you do enjoy this whole video and you do enjoy being able to see one of the, um, one of my favorite additions to Minecraft in quite some time. I'd say it's one of the best, but I guess it depends on what you like. And it's also worth bearing in mind that if you do want to find one of these yourself, if you do download the snapshot or when the update comes out, uh, they are very, very rare. You might think that, oh yeah, they happen all the time but the truth is they only generate in warm oceans so it has to have a sand base uh, below it has to be you know a, a warmish ocean and second of all even within warm oceans as you can see I've got a huge warm ocean here but coral reef only covers a small part of it because coral reefs are very very rare um, you might think that like oh yeah coral reefs cover like half the ocean or something but truthfully it's more like you know coral reefs cover less than one percent of the ocean bed uh, so if you want to find coral reefs you're gonna have to search quite a bit they're a very rare find but when you do find them they look pretty great in my opinion so let's go uh, dive in deep shall we and give you a better look at them because as you can see they take advantage of the five coral blocks and the five coral plants to make some beautiful uh, underwater sea diving so uh, I feel like with most uh, Minecraft features because early in the week they added underwater ambience uh, I you know I, I prefer in most videos ever like oh yeah like don't stop talking to do like a time lapse or whatever I hate when people do that where they just cut it off for two minutes but I feel like the best way to experience this is with maybe 15 20 seconds of uh, just ex you know hearing the ambience looking at it and getting a real feel for it that way so I'll turn up the audio and you can listen to it like that. So yeah, isn't this isn't this one of the best? Th also, when it comes to the surface, there's a nice sound. I like it quite a bit. So yeah, isn't this one of the most interesting uh, Minecraft features they've added in quite some time? I think you know it, it definitely captured my imagination more than a lot of things ever have, and uh, it's definitely one of the most interesting looking uh, biomes. However, I will say, uh, in, or I guess is it a biome or a structure? It really straddles the line between the two of them. Uh, but I will say a, a couple of things. First of all, they're not as big as you might have expected. Again, when you're swimming down below them, they do seem really big, but from the surface, you can see they're not as huge as you might figure. Um, so the real purpose of them comes down to like, if you want these coral blocks, you're gonna have to come here and you're gonna have to value every single one of these blocks. And that means you're in the very weird situation. Uh, I know they previously said like, oh yeah, we care about like making things environmentally friendly. This means you now have to take coral reefs away and you're probably gonna take the entire coral with. So if you want to get these, you know, rare items, you know, these five brand new corals, these five brand new plants, you have to go in with a silk touch pickaxe and destroy all of this stuff, which again, I don't know, I, I don't know, I don't know about the silk touch thing. Again, that might change stuff. But basically, you got to bear in mind that you have to come in here and destroy the coral reef as a core part of the game to get some of the blocks. And there's something about that that's like, wait a minute, does that add up? And I'm not entirely sure if it does, but it is something that you do have to keep in mind. And uh, yeah, the coral reef has been added. It's very rare and it's very, very wonderful. And I think more than just seeing it, there's not too much I can add. So I will move on to the next thing they did with this update because they also decided to make the phantom, uh, you know, in this snapshot, I should say. Uh, so as well as the water ambience from last uh, snapshot and as well as the coral reef from this snapshot, which, I mean, it looks wonderful, right? Uh, we also have the phantom, which now officially burns in daylight. So yeah, the phantom will only attack you at night now. I feel like that's a fair change to make it so it doesn't annoy people. Uh, if you're out now at night and you haven't slept in a long time, the phantom is going to be there, but it won't be there in the day. So as well as nerfing it um, in the last snapshot to make it weaker with its attacks, they also decide to nerf its uh, you know daytime ability to make it die all the time, which means that, yeah, I, I don't know what I think about that. I think they made it a bit, I, I think they made it easy enough with the attacks and they made it even easier by making it not daytime mob, but I think that's fair enough because like we don't need daytime uh, threats, uh, but I do think they should increase its attack value, but that's just my kind of opinion. The next change we have is that cauldrons can now be used to officially undie uh, shulker box. 
boxes. So yeah, the, the old shulker box that was just called the shulker box is now officially referred to as the purple shulker box. And there is now also a default one, which you get when you die it away. So as you can see, it looks like this. It's a little bit different to the purple one. Like you can barely spot the difference, but there is in fact a key difference there. And yeah, this you can do this with any color, even the purple shulker box. And isn't that wonderful? So yeah, there is now officially on the Java edition, 17 types of shulker box. Uh, on the, I believe on the console edition, there always was. And on the bedrock, there always was. Uh, but yeah, we have one for each color and then a default one as well. And although it's not too hugely important, it is just a nice change that they finally put that on there. And it is very interesting, to say the least, that they decide to use the pocket edition, uh, you know, uh, dyeing system, off make it so you undye them in a cauldron. Because obviously, most people have colored uh, uh, shock boxes of some form, and now you'll officially get those instead. So yeah, just an interesting little change they introduced with this snapshot. Uh, it's mostly all about those coral reefs, and I think the coral reef is all about the blocks so far. I mean, you'll find tropical fish there sometimes, but you know, I didn't in this particular example. So it's mostly about the stuff that you have already. But again, we could see that change in the coming weeks. And honestly, though, I will say like just the, you know, just the ability to find coral alone makes this structure worthwhile, makes it one that I want to check out. But I don't know about all of you. Do you, do you think the blocks alone make a, you know, a biome? Or do you want to see like, oh, it has to have much higher tropical fish to make it worthwhile uh, for me? Let me know what you think in the comments down below, because I'm in love with the idea of it. But the actual, you know, biome itself it's not, uh, you know, for the rarity, I feel like the rarity balance is slightly off to the reward, personally. Um, you know, it's, it's got the Wooden Mansion problem. Like, it's a great feature, but if no one can find it, you know, it has to be even greater to make up for that. And I don't know if it necessarily re reaches that new level of freight, but it does look great. And we do know that it's currently being ported to the Bedrock. So yeah, lots of exciting stuff. Hope you all enjoyed the video and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.